Firstly, um, before we begin proceedings, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that we're meeting on today. We, of course, pay our respects to Elders past and present. Well, good morning. Welcome to the Transit Systems Smithfield Bus Depot, just a short distance from the Wetherill Park Fairfield uh, Industrial Estate, the largest industrial estate in the Southern Hemisphere, where we're delighted to unveil Sydney's newest most technologically advanced transport software and, of course, fleet, Bridge. As one of Australia's leading transport providers, Trans Transit Systems moves over 60 million passengers around Australia every year. In fact, we're the only Australian-owned multinational public transport operator. And when you combine that with our affiliated London and Singapore operations, we move 260 million people globally every year. We're committed to ensuring that we share our international knowledge to create the next generation of transport here in Australia with the goal of improving our cities, offering an easier commute, reducing congestion, providing government with better value for money and of course taxpayers. We've continually shown in all of our operations an unprecedented approach to safety, reliability and convenience. And this is demonstrated in our excellent passenger growth figures. While other regions are in decline, this region here in Western Sydney is continually increasing. 30% passenger growth since we commenced here in uh, a short four years ago. So, Having evaluated the international technology landscape in terms of best practice transport outcomes, we handpicked the bridge software after watching some su successful trials in Boston and Washington. The acquisition of bridge really puts tra transit systems out in front in terms of transport innovation. We see the potential. Where traditional public transport is static, bridge is intuitive. Where traditional transport methods dictate demand, bridge caters to it. It aims to integrate a demand responsive element to our mass transit links. More cost effective than on demand, yet more convenient than rigid scheduled services. We believe this is the smart middle ground, the bridge between private vehicles and mass transit. Also, the solution to getting more people on board mass transit, acting as the go-between or the connector, the details of which our new bridge general manager, John Langford Ely, will explain in a second. The most exciting part about bridge, and there are many, is its ability to learn and predict. The potential this unleashes for planning and modelling is huge, as we capture data that showcases how people want to use transport, not telling them how to. And we can analyse this in real time or in advance for planning purposes. We believe Bridge is a global leader in delivering fully integrated, convenient and a reliable passage for commuters. We're thrilled to bring Bridge transport technology to Sydney as part of this innovative trial by Transport for New South Wales and we commend the New South Wales Government on their forward thinking and planning when it comes to trialling new transport methods. With the contract signed to implement bridge here in Region 3, operating in and around the Wetherill Park Industrial Estate, we look forward to launching this service here in November. With the guidance and support of transit systems, we're excited to already be in discussions around the country to roll bridge out nationally and move Australia for, into, in a forward thinking direction about what's possible when it comes to delivering public transport systems that people really want to use. I'll now hand over to our General Manager, John Langford Ely, to explain some of the tech and the bridge products. Thanks, Clint, and uh, welcome, everybody. Well, I passionately believe that mobility is vital for our sense of well-being, social equality, and our economic prosperity. And I think too often its importance is overlooked uh, or taken for granted. 
whether it's getting access to employment, education, um, or good quality housing. Good public transport has a real impact on people's lives and creates opportunity. I think by necessity, our existing public transport networks, uh, they're quite rigid and they've been designed to provide coverage to everybody. But that creates challenges for efficiency uh, and for convenience. <coughs> I'm sure we've all seen large empty buses running around in some of our local streets. But I think we're at a turning point, at a time when congestion um, and our cities are getting more dense, uh, technology is enabling us to get smarter. With Bridge, we can improve efficiency and we can retain coverage. Um, the Bridge technology, it can, it's intuitive I suppose, so it can we analyse demand patterns uh, of our city using big data and we create more dynamic and flexible routes. Our optimisation algorithms, um, they cluster passengers together based on where they want to go and we can dynamically route our vehicles to avoid traffic in real time and take the shortest routes. Uh, we look at the passengers that are actually on board and where they actually want to get off. And what this all does uh, when pulled together, it helps to really reduce travel time and the associated running costs. This all happens behind the scenes while uh, passengers enjoy a dedicated seat uh, and get to track their vehicles in real time uh, from our smartphone application. So to give you a bit more insight into how the bridge system works, uh, we've got this video for you. So with the bridge technology, we can right size our services to better match demand, or we can design services that feed passengers onto higher frequency bus and rail corridors. I think in partnership with transit systems, we can draw in over 20 years of operational experience and industry relationships um, to integrate with the existing public transport network as opposed to compete with it. I'd just like to finish uh, by saying how great it is to be involved in transport uh, at this time. And again, I'd like to commend um, Transport for New South Wales for being a leader in the innovation space in transport. So without further ado, I think I would like to invite people to have a look at our vehicle. We've got some tablets around with a demonstration version of our app. Uh, Obviously we don't have buses running around right now, but uh, that'll give you a nice uh, feel for it. And potentially first, uh, have it to take questions. Yes. Given that it's uh, being operated on a dedicated route, how far away is a bus like this from uh, autonomous operation? I think one of the things that we've learned, it's about balancing what the tech can do versus what the practical outcomes are for the customers. 
So one of the things that our technology can do, we can basically select stops that are active versus not active. But if we were just to go through um, a, every single stop as quickly as we could and skip stops, well, we'll have passengers that potentially can't get to their stop in time um, grab the bus. So that's a very practical problem. Um, but certainly in terms of the technology and the um, optimization algorithms that we're building, you know, the future, uh, I think that bridge can sit very well um, with the likes of autonomous vehicles and we just got to get that balance right. And that's actually one of the benefits of having a, a partner like Transit Systems that uh, are so familiar with the, the customer considerations with public transport. How long is the trial running for and how soon before you might see it uh, expanded across Australia? Six months is the initial period and there's an opportunity to extend that by a further uh, three periods. Um, our intent through that uh, process is to, to learn and adapt and that's exactly what Bridge has been designed to do. I think as Clint said, we have been um, in discussions with um, pretty much every state around Australia and I think there's a real appetite for this and the, the public wants it. Um, yeah, there is congestion choking our streets and we see this as one way of addressing that. Who uh, So Bridge is a wholly owned subsidiary of Transit Systems. So we've acquired Bridge uh, out of the States. Um, just to add further uh, to the comments that, that John made about expansion, I think the real difference between um, Bridge here in Australia and Bridge in the United States is it's now linked with a global public transport operator. So we're seeing Bridge as a complementary product to an existing transport network, not something that you overlay on top of a transport network. So Bridge has an application in every city in which we operate. So our intention is to integrate Bridge into the fabric of the existing networks that we're currently involved in. And what sort of cost will it be for consumers to use Bridge compared to the Opal card. So that's going to vary from, from state to state and it's largely um, a conversation that comes down between us and government because it is part of the public transport network or our intention is for this to become part of the public transport network. It will be integrated alongside of the fares that are currently charged on, on the public transport network. So our, that's our intention. Is it comparable? Are you a competitor for Uber? Oh look, I think this product is very different to the point-to-point -point Uber and Lyft. This is public transport. This is not going to take you to your door. It's going to take you, so there's, there's heuristics or rules within the system. Uh, one of those rules is that you won't, won't presently walk more than five minutes to a bus stop at either end. So you'll get walking directions when you book a trip. That won't be longer than five, a five minute walk. And similarly, when you are dropped off, you won't have more than a five minute walk to your final destination. That's not Uber. This is about clustering people with similar destinations and similar travel patterns. And that's the real power in this technology is the way we group those people and, and collect them in locations around the city. So, Transit Systems owns the, the software that's developed in the state, yeah? Um, what about other transport operators? Will you be selling that to use with other transport operators that have contracts in other regions? or? Yeah, that's a really good question, and I think it should be. I mean, I see this, we want to see this as kind of the leading technology platform for this mode of travel. We want to partner with governments to roll it out in the cities that we operate in, and if, that, if there are multiple operators of public transport in those cities, then absolutely we want to make this available to everybody. So everybody is on a similar platform. This is not proprietary exclusive transit systems. Why did you buy that's a good question too. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a huge choice of, of buses. Um, you know, it comes down to, you know, aesthetics, the ride, the number of people that you can have on them. Um, these, these buses are brand new release this year, so we wanted something kind of new and dynamic and really attractive to people. Um, you know, and I, I want people to be wowed when the bus turns up. You know, this is this is a brand new 2017 release vehicle. Who did you partner and, uh, with? Sorry, the... I will just add to that. Um, the technology itself, it's agnostic to the type and size of the vehicle, providing that there's enough people. Um, 
we, we can apply this tech to larger vehicles. So it's focused on mass transit. So yeah, who did you partner with on the Wi-Fi? Uh, that's a work in progress. Yeah, we might um, cut the ribbon and invite you on board for a look. Looks good. Nice. 